SpaceX Dragon, the vehicle that NASA is preparing to rely on more heavily as ongoing issues with Soyuz and Starliner continue to disrupt crewed flight schedules. As a result, SpaceX is expected to increase Dragon's launch tempo. How much could the launch rate grow, and what would this mean for SpaceX's dominance in crewed missions? Let's find out more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. As we all know, last month, following the MS-28 launch, Russia's Launch Pad 31 suffered serious damage. While Russia does have other launch pads available, Pad 31 is the only facility capable of supporting Soyuz rocket launches that carry the two spacecraft directly tied to the ISS, namely Soyuz crew vehicles and Progress cargo spacecraft. According to multiple reports, it could take Russia as long as four months to fully restore the launch pad and it may take even longer than that. The reason is that the pad was constructed using technology and infrastructure dating back to the previous century. This creates extremely strict repair requirements, adding to the difficulty winter is approaching. Even after physical repairs are completed, the launch pad will still require additional inspection and validation time before it can safely support another launch. With that in mind, the obvious question becomes this. What is the current status of the ISS? following this incident. At first glance, the number of astronauts aboard the station remains unchanged. However, the situation becomes far more concerning when it comes to resupply and long-term logistics. First and foremost, Russia is effectively unable to launch crewed or cargo missions in the near future. The most immediate example is the postponement of the Progress MS-33 cargo mission, which had originally been scheduled to launch on December 20th. The next planned Progress mission is set for March of next year, but if delays continue, that mission could also be pushed back. It's the first time in roughly 60 years that Russia has faced such a severe and sustained disruption to its orbital launch capabilities. In the past, even when technical issues occurred, Russian spacecraft continued to support the ISS with remarkable consistency. This was especially true during the long period when the U.S. lacked the ability to send astronauts to the station using its own vehicles, or lack thereof. Now, the situation has shifted dramatically. Turning to the US, the picture is not much better when looking beyond SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. Nearly every other vehicle intended to support the ISS has encountered significant problems. The most prominent example is Boeing's Starliner, which was developed under the same NASA commercial crew contract as Dragon. Starliner's troubled history is well documented. Despite receiving more than $4 billion in funding from NASA, the program has suffered repeated delays caused by technical failures and design issues. The most successful mission to date occurred in 2022, and even that did not fully restore confidence in the system. More critically, the only crewed Starliner mission failed to safely return astronauts as planned due to technical malfunctions. As a result, those astronauts were left stranded aboard the ISS longer than expected. NASA was forced to rely on SpaceX's Dragon, Starliner's direct competitor, to bring those astronauts home. As a consequence, NASA was forced to revise its contract with Boeing. Instead of the originally planned six operational missions, Starliner is now required to complete only four. The next mission is expected to be crewed, but any subsequent flights will depend entirely on the outcome and reliability of that mission. Taken together, these limitations make it clear that Starliner cannot consistently support the ISS in its current state. Contract revisions have not been limited to Starliner. NASA recently made similar changes to its agreement with another vehicle, Dream Chaser. Although Dream Chaser has not yet flown to orbit, repeated delays have significantly dampened earlier expectations. The original plan called for seven flights to the ISS, but Dream Chaser will now conduct a single free flight demonstration mission toward the end of next year. Any future missions will depend on the results of that test flight and additional NASA approvals. Northrop Grumman's Cygnus has also faced recent challenges. The NG-22 mission was lost during transportation earlier this year, prompting concerns about reliability. 
Cygnus returned to flight with NG-23 in September, but confidence has been shaken. It'll continue supporting ISS resupply, though with a more limited and uncertain role. When all these factors are considered together, the conclusion becomes unavoidable. ISS operations now rely overwhelmingly on SpaceX Dragon. When crew transportation is included, Dragon stands as the only spacecraft currently capable of reliably supporting NASA's needs. Whether carrying cargo or astronauts, Dragon has demonstrated a rare combination of flexibility, availability, and above all, reliability. Looking ahead, the Dragon crew launch schedule is not expected to change significantly on the horizon. However, there may be adjustments to crew composition. One possibility under consideration is that Dragon could support an all-Russian cosmonaut mission to replace MS-28 should Russia fail to restore Launch Pad 31 within the next six months. This remains only a contingency option. Russia will make every effort to repair the pad within four months as it would strongly prefer not to pay for a Dragon mission unless absolutely necessary. Cargo missions, however, present a different story. Dragon cargo flights are far more likely to see schedule adjustments in order to maintain uninterrupted resupply of critical consumables such as food, water, and equipment. This becomes especially important when other cargo vehicles are experiencing delays or reliability concerns. Because of this, NASA is preparing to ask SpaceX to modify its Dragon cargo launch schedule by increasing mission frequency. The first changes will affect two upcoming missions, CRS-34 and CRS-35. These missions were originally planned for June and November of 2026. Under the revised plan, they would move forward to May and August of 2026. With only three months separating those launches, a third cargo mission, CRS-36, could also fly later in the same year. This would result in three Dragon cargo missions within a single year. In short, Dragon will be launching more frequently and on a more regular cadence. This adjustment offers clear benefits to all involved parties. For NASA and Russia alike, it ensures stable ISS operations despite ongoing problems with other spacecraft. Operational continuity is preserved, and both agencies are able to maintain their presence and credibility in orbit. Cost is another major advantage. Dragon remains significantly cheaper than alternative crew transportation options. Musk highlighted this in a public response to a comparison of seat prices across different spacecraft. A seat aboard Dragon costs approximately $55 million. By contrast, seats on Soyuz, Starliner, or Legacy crew vehicles developed decades ago range from $80 million to as much as $390 million per seat. For NASA and for any organization seeking to send humans into orbit, this cost advantage is substantial. For SpaceX, the situation represents yet another opportunity to demonstrate its critical role in both American and global aerospace operations. Once again, SpaceX is effectively stepping in to stabilize ISS operations during a major crisis. This strengthens its reputation and builds trust that will be invaluable for securing future large-scale contracts and ambitious missions. As Musk stated last year, the world does not need another capsule. What matters is fully reusable rockets and spacecraft. Returning to NASA's request to accelerate missions, it's clear that increasing flight frequency also means purchasing additional Dragon missions. This mirrors what NASA did previously when it bought eight crewed Dragon missions after completing the original six mission contract. Next year alone, NASA may need to purchase at least one additional mission. If other spacecraft fail to show meaningful improvement, that number could grow substantially. The same logic would apply to Russia if it cannot restore Launch Pad 31 before the next required crew rotation. Given everything that has occurred, it's fair to ask a broader question. Does SpaceX's Dragon now hold one of the most important positions among spacecraft in history? If you agree, let me know with a dragon in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to continue following SpaceX's journey. Beyond its role in supporting NASA and the ISS during this challenging period, Dragon's importance could extend into another critical domain, emergency rescue in space. In space exploration, problems can arise at any time, in any location, 
and for any reason. The Starliner incident serves as a clear example. While NASA and Boeing may have anticipated issues given Starliner's troubled testing history, the situation still raised serious concerns once it unfolded in orbit. When a spacecraft encounters a major problem while already in space, options become extremely limited. Everything becomes reactive rather than proactive. A recent example can be seen in the incident involving China's Shenzhou 20 spacecraft, which was damaged after colliding with space debris. This forced authorities to prepare and launch a replacement spacecraft on short notice. However, such backup vehicles are not always available, and even when they are, they may not be sufficient if a larger scale rescue is required. This is where a dedicated rescue or support system becomes essential. In such scenarios, response time is measured in hours, not days, and astronaut safety depends on rapid action. In that context, few vehicles are better suited to lead a space-based rescue capability than SpaceX's Dragon. Dragon has already demonstrated exceptional reliability, operational flexibility, and high availability. Establishing such a rescue capability would require new contracts, potentially led by NASA or by an international coalition of space agencies. SpaceX would likely receive additional funding to maintain existing Dragon spacecraft, upgrade them for rapid response missions, or build new vehicles dedicated to this role. Even beyond the ISS era, Dragon's future remains remarkably open. As the ISS approaches retirement, it's worth remembering that Dragon will play a central role in the station's final chapter. Dragon is slated to be upgraded to support the controlled deorbit of the ISS. This is a historic and deeply symbolic mission, marking the end of one of humanity's greatest engineering achievements. The retirement of the ISS also opens the door to a new generation of private space stations. Several projects are already under development, including stations proposed by VAST, Axiom Space, Orbital Reef, and Starlab. With the exception of Orbital Reef, many of these concepts rely heavily on SpaceX infrastructure and Dragon operations. Even if Sierra Space eventually departs Orbital Reef to pursue an independent station, Dragon could still provide support while Dream Chaser continues to mature. Altogether, these developments underscore that SpaceX Dragon now outpaces every active competitor in capability and reliability. At a time when alternative crew vehicles face persistent setbacks, Dragon is positioned to sustain the ISS through higher flight rates and uninterrupted service. In practical terms, it has become the only consistently dependable human-rated spacecraft in operation, effectively serving as a lifeline for low Earth orbit. Looking ahead, Dragon is equally well-placed to support future roles, including emergency crew rescue, commercial space station operations, and expanded private missions. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already ready to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.